Um, well, hi, my name is Ayana, and I read The Great Gatsby. Okay, so the characters we have, this is Jay Gatsby. Okay, he's a guy who came from pretty humble beginnings. He is an Oxford man, an Oxford man, that's sort of a pun in the book. Okay, you should read it, it's pretty cool. Um, he does a lot of things. Some people think that he's a little bit questionable as far as his actions go, but um, from the main character's standpoint, like I guess viewpoint, he turns out to be sort of a solid guy. Um, this is Nick. He is the main character of the book. It's not Jay Gatsby, I swear, okay? He's the main character. And the book sort of follows his life um, the way it was two years ago before some events happened. And basically, it's just him dealing with everyone and their issues. And it's a little frustrating for him. I'm not going to lie, it's frustrating for me too. Um, this is, this is Daisy. She is the leading lady of the book. Jay Gatsby is in love with her and she's Nick's cousin. Um, this is Daisy's husband. His name is Tom. And Tom is sort of a buff guy, sort of standoffish, like, hey, don't mess with me, my name is Tom. Yeah. And he's sort of dim-witted, but he reads a lot of philosophy-type books, and it makes him think that he's smart. Uh, and this is Jordan. She's sort of Nick's love interest. And Nick sort of has like a love-hate relationship with her. Like, he likes her because he's sort of getting old, and he needs someone to settle down with. But she sort of infuriates him. She's sort of annoying. And she's really pristine and sort of proper. She's an athlete golfer type person. Yeah. So the conflict in this book. So, yeah. So Gatsby, he loves Daisy, but Daisy is married to Tom. Now, Tom is having an affair with a nice lady named Myrtle. And Myrtle is also married to someone else, so it's just a whole bunch of like love triangles and things like that. And they sort of like evolve and unfold, and it's not really dramatic, I'm not going to lie. It's sort of anticlimactic. <laughs> so I would recommend this book. It's a pretty calm read. Like a lot of shocking things happen, but the way the book is written, they don't seem shocking at all. And that's the sort of downside to it. Like you want the excitement of all those like really crazy things that happen, but it's just sort of like, oh, this happens? Oh, oh, okay. And as far as the ending goes, in my opinion, it just wasn't really satisfying. Like, I expected things to sort of resolve. Like, oh, they get the girl, and like, they live happily ever after. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, well.